All right, official behind the scenes trailer. Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh. Space Marine 2 is a third person action shooter set in the grim dark future of Warhammer 40,000. Okay. That puts you in the middle of a war against the Tyranids for the control of an Imperial solar system. Imperial solar system or Imperial star system? Small detail. You're right in the thick of the action, and hopefully people never have experienced that kind of aspect of, of the Warhammer world. We feel that... I mean, that's true. I suppose in Space Marine 1, you didn't have these sort of horde attacks. You had, like, um, orc enemies, but you had them in kind of these mini swarms, so it was never, like, super intense. It is the combination of all the things that we worked so hard for so many years to do oh my God. come to life. Oh my God. We wanted action in the sky, on the land. We wanted flames. We wanted explosions. It is a passion piece for all of the people working at Sabre. I do like that for this game, they have put a lot of effort into the sort of, I guess you could say, the cinematic aspect of 40k. Because I think what makes 40k so different from, let's say, I don't know, Star Wars or something, is just the epic scale of everything and i do like with this game they make it feel like a warhammer 40k game it's not like a generic sci-fi game you can see from all the buildings from all the starships how much attention to detail there is in this game and i do love that i do appreciate that when I started working on the story, I spent months reading Black Library novels like No No Fear to really get my head inside these these characters. Is No No Fear the Tanith first and only one? I think it is, right? It's an Imperial Guard novel. The, you know, to understand the Ultramarines and who they are. So the Space Marines were created for that Great Crusade. They were a necessary component in a war for galactic unity. And the Ultramarines are one of the most iconic and famous of those Space Marine forces that have endured through the 10,000 years from their creation at the Great Crusade to the stagnation of the 41st millennium. True. Oh my god, bro. You see, this is what I mean. Look at the Hive City in the background, like that iconic 40k structure. And look at everything around, all the gothic, like... Um futuristic architecture and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. I really like this idea that people can get a feel of the 40K universe because the 40K universe is so sick. It's so unique in how like um, everything fits together compared to like other sci-fi universes where it doesn't feel as real, I suppose. Most human beings in this world will never see a space marine. They're, yep. they're stuff of legends. They're known as the angels of death. Yeah, so that is an important distinction. The space marines are so small compared to the wider, like, baseline human population. They are literally almost like myths and legends. And that feel is really, really important. So when one appears on the battlefield, it, it's like seeing an angel of God. His angels. So Titus is a lieutenant in our game. My pledge is eternal service. Oh, yeah. He's sort of a relic of a, a time once past. You know, this guy is an unstoppable force, but you've also got to find some kind of grit and hardness that shows that he's been there, done that, seen more than all the other Ultramarines he's That's true. his unit with. I suppose for this game, they're going to go for Titus as like this battered down, worn, experienced soldier. He's not going to have the same, like, I guess, clean attitude that he had in the first game when he was Captain Titus. We did the best we could in motion capture. But it is very different when you get to see oh, these amazing what? graphics on the screen and what hundreds and hundreds of people who work for Sabre Interactive come up with and create. It's incredible. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarine, second company. Oh my god. So do they actually, like, do all of the, the facial expressions for all of the movement using actual faces? They don't just completely construct it in um, code? Bro, that is sick. For me to go right back to the bare basics of what acting is about and just be in an empty space, but on the day, it's about creating... It oh, that is so cool. So they actually modeled all of the, the Space Marines on actual, like, um, live CGI people. They didn't just, like, model it in um, the virtual space. Bro, they put so much effort into this game, it's insane. It's so cool what they've done here. Lieutenant Titus, praise the Omnisire! Shut it down! <laughs> Lieutenant Titus, shut up! Shut it down! <laughs> Now, 
It's your journey, you're the player, you're with Titus and, and the Ultramarines. If you can't connect to their faces when the helmets are off and you can't read those emotions, then there's something lacking. So this is actually a human face. Like this was actually reconstructed from actual facial expressions. That is so cool. Again, that level of attention to detail is just amazing. What this team have done here is ridiculous. My job is to try and bring these guys to life. That is sick. That is so I cool. I think as the player is going to see a very, very different Titus. Ooh. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley, we can flood the area around the base. Right from the very beginning, we didn't just want to create uh, any third-person shooter. We wanted to create a game that embodied the galactic warfare that you, you come to know uh, from this, this franchise. Look at that. I mean, look at, like, if you come back here, you look at the sky and everything, you get the feel like you're on a planet that is under siege. It's not like you're just fighting on the ground. There's this whole battle in orbit and, oh my god. That is so cool. This franchise. Oh! So the technology Look at all the melee. Space Marine 2 is our own technology. So the team's gotten very, very good at creating signature moments in this game. Oh my the god. Signature moment is the swarm. We have a swarm technology that allows. This reminds me of the swarms from like World War Z. Like you could have like all of these different swarms of, pe of like zombies like falling over buildings getting to you. But in this case, because there's variation in the tyrannage, you've got the small ones, the big ones. That is a lot of effort. Allows us to have hundreds of these tyrannids attacking. Oh my god. And we're also able to build a, a, a huge expanse where you have oh my god this is so ridiculously cool oh my god like that hive city silhouette like fighting with that in the background during the campaign mode will be just oh my god highly detailed characters and models up close but you can see off in the distance you can see that swarm coming at you you can see oh my graphics card is crying you, and you will get down and dirty blown them all away oh yes you feel like you have you feel like you have an infinite universe in front of you. You know, you have sandbox games where you can wander around, but this goes one step further. It kind of almost feels like wherever you are in the action, wherever you look, there is another company of Marines down there fighting off swarms of Tyranids, and you've got- Oh my God, wait, so does that mean in the actual game, you'll have a degree of freedom that you can actually explore the map? Like in the Hive City map, can you actually go off and find Easter eggs and stuff like that? That'll be kind of sick, you know? Up there, we've got ships, you know, delivering and launching. Oh and yeah. Ships landing, everything's around you. One of the things people love. So a lot of NPCs, a lot of NPCs in the background to give it that cinematic feel. About this this uh, world is the ability to customize your character. You know, you take oh yes, the beloved tabletop. Them the way you want. You give them the weapons that you want. You paint them the way you want. We wanted to take that same approach and put it in the game so you can oh, do the same yes. thing with your character. Bro, so does this mean you can basically recreate any like 40k character because the customization is so much? That could be interesting. The game offers three modes. A co-op story campaign that you can play with your friends, a highly replayable PvE mode with lots of progression and customization, and a PvP mode that puts you against other players. The more you play these PvE missions, the deeper you can go into the progression of these characters, unlocking skills and perks and weapons. Um, and as you do that, our, our famous AI director is able to increase the challenge, throw tougher enemies at you and more challenges. Oh my god, so as you, as you actually upgrade, the AI is going to get harder. So as you customize yourself more and more, like if you do the PvE, you're going to level up. Is that going to count for the PvP? Like if you're a really high level, will the game automatically put you against other high level players? I don't know. Situations. Oh god. As you've oh. seen with some of our other titles, we have a track record of supporting our titles. Jeez Louise. Quality of life updates to paid DLC and larger add-ons. So with Space Marine 2, because the universe is so rich and there's so oh my much god. to draw from, we're really excited about you know what story we can tell and what things that we can continue to do in this game. The truth is that we've been kind of circling like sharks around Games Workshop for a long time, trying to get hold of this game. This is we ridiculous. At Saber, that we have the the story, the gunplay, the oh my god, the experience and the passion to deliver what fans want. So I'm scared, but I'm excited. Our team is, you know, they love working on this game. It's it's one of their favorite games that they've ever worked on. So to see what ten years of development 
on that Space Marine engine franchise story is going to be like for Space Marine. Oh too. God! I think everybody involved with Warhammer is really, really excited to see that. Uh, no matter what the fans are asking for, trust me, we're asking for even more. That, bro, the level of love that they have put into this game is ridiculous. I actually can't wait for this game. I feel like this might be my favorite game of all time if it hits all of the right points, which I think it will. The amount of attention to detail to make it faithful to the lore, to highlight all of the best aspects of 40k combat, the scale, the melee, it's amazing. These guys have done a fantastic job and I really can't wait for this game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and in a bit, peace.